Back with another video for you today, and today we're doing an unpackaging and first impressions of the latest Louis Vuitton fragrance called Le Jour Celeve. It's right here, I recently picked it up, and I'm gonna tell you all about it, coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. And yes, the latest Louis Vuitton fragrance is launched. It's called Le Jour Celeve. And it basically translates to The Day Begins. And it is exactly that kind of a fragrance. It's the kind of fragrance that is uh, basically uh, happy, uplifting, like the start of a day, spring day, perfectly timed release as well, because it is now spring, as this fragrance uh, is well, exactly that is. But I've only smelled it once, and as soon as I smelled it at the store, I loved what I smelled. It's very fresh, uh, very similar to some of the other fragrances from the Louis Vuitton collection. And uh, it reminds me a little bit of Apogee, the, the, one of the more popular fragrances from the line. And according to the Louis Vuitton boutique here in San Francisco, um, the most popular of the releases from the original seven are Rose de Vent and um, Apogee. I have a review with... Uh, Beauty Meow for Rose de and in fact I have a whole video where we discuss all seven of the fragrances that were launched in 2016. But this is a 2018 launch, Le Jour Celeve. It's Eau de Parfum concentration and the perfumer once again is Jacques Cavalier. And for notes in Le Jour Celeve, and I've taken these notes from Louis Vuitton's website, we have Mandarin from Italy, Black Current Accord, Sambac Jasmine, Incense and Musk Accords, Peony Accord, and Osmanthus. I was comparing the notes to Fragrantica, and the fragrance notes there were a, a lot more. So I think uh, I wanted to make sure to get you the exact notes, so that this is exactly what we have in the notes for Leisure Celeb. So, so I don't know if you are fans of the, the fragrances from Louis Vuitton, and I seem to be uh, really into them, especially Apogee, Rose de Vent, uh, Contre Moi. There's also Don Le Po, Matier Noir, Milfo, and Turbulence. Turbulence is also nice. It's a jasmine slash tuberose fragrance. Uh, Matier Noir is more earthy, patchouli, fruity. Uh, Rose Vaughn, of course, is the rose. Apogee is all about white flowers. Um, and Cotre Moi is the vanilla one. And Don Le Po is leather. Milfo is also leather. So here we have a fruity white floral fragrance. So, so it's in here. Of course, you have the gold uh, packaging from Louis Vuitton and a blue ribbon here, and I asked for some samples as well, so I got a bunch of samples, but um, fragrance is in this box right here, and of course I have a bunch of uh, samples in here, as you can see, of uh, some of their fragrances, unfortunately, they didn't have any samples of the latest one, Le Jour Celeve, but this is similar to all the other fragrances that came from this line, and I'm still waiting for a men's release from this collection as well. They've been saying three that were supposed to come out late last fall, but they didn't. Now we have another woman's. But again, a lot of these fragrances, even though they're targeted to women, can be worn by, by men because they're very unisex. So let's go ahead and open this up. Very tightly wrapped. Again, typical box of the other ones. And these kind of remind me of the Louis Vuitton uh, Privé collection fragrances uh, as far as these tubes go because they come in little tubes like this. And the fragrance also comes in a different size, a 200 ml bottle size as well. But I'm, I've got the 100 ml bottle size. And here is Le Jour Celeve. Again, this means the day begins. And exactly that's what it is. And I've only smelled it once and I liked what I smelled because I thought, wow, it's a fruity, uh, more floral version of Apogee, which I really like. Very fresh and refreshing fragrance. Um, so I really like that one and I had to get this one because I really like that fruity touch to it. The Black Current Accord is really, really beautiful. So the Peony also adds a beautiful floral touch to it. So let's go ahead and spray it. Now I want to say the Louis Vuitton fragrances spray so freaking well. They're amazing, the sprayers. Also with Dior, and Dior sprayers are also amazing as well. Um, part of that Louis Vuitton, Moet and Hennessy Corporation brands, fragrances, um, 
it's a given. And these are also refillable. I've had a few of them refilled before, and that's what I like about these. The bottles are just beautiful, and, and of course, refillable. So if you're a woman and you buy these fragrances, you can pass them on to your daughter or even uh, any relatives you might have, and they can refill them in the future, which that's what I thought was pretty unique about these fragrances. The refill as 100 mil cost $150. Of course, you're paying about uh, $90 for the bottle and packaging. But immediately, I'm picking up Juicy Mandarin and Black Currant on the top, and I'm starting to get Jasmine a little bit. But just, this is gorgeous. This is really absolutely gorgeous. It is a perfect, refreshing scent for spring. I, I think this has spring written all over it, and it's perfect for summer as well because this is the kind of fragrance you want to wear and get refreshed in the heat waves in the summertime and things like that. Now, it is like Apogee, but it's certainly got that fruity touch and a, a little more jasmine and smoky notes and musk notes have been amped up here with peony. Now, I'm not picking up the Asmanthus much, and uh, probably it'll get there because Osmanthus is a flower, but it's more like a fruity, uh, apricot, peachy kind of a smell to it. Really great, great release. It's really gorgeous. Now I can see this being really, really popular. This probably could be number three. According to uh, Louis Vuitton Boutique here, Rose is the most popular, Apogee second. I can see this being number three. It's that good. Really, really refreshing, and I like fruit. I, you know, black currant fragrances are really, really beautiful. I love black currant or any blackberry things like that. So this one's a given that I, I, I fell in love with uh, as far as the smell goes. Really, really re refreshing. So guys, have you tried any of the Louis Vuitton fragrances? Have you tried Le Jour Celeve yet? What is your favorite Louis Vuitton fragrance? You know, I, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but I think I'm gonna do a five mil decant giveaway of Le Jour Celeve. So one lucky subscriber of this channel will have an opportunity to win a 5 mil decant of Le Jour Celeb. Please make sure you're subscribed and also let me know what your favorite fragrance is that features black currant or some kind of a berry note in it to qualify. And please put your state. This is a USA giveaway. But I'm, I'm digging this. It's really quite lovely. It's the kind of freshy that I want that's a little different than your typical aquatic, which I'm slowly getting into, obviously you know that. And of course, citruses, which I absolutely love. I love citrus fragrances, I love lemony fragrances, but you know, it gets repetitive and boring after a while. So this adds that unique black currant touch to it that I really, really have been uh, enjoying lately and I'm liking a lot. The incense and the uh, musk is definitely there. I think I'm picking up more incense than musk though. Um, it does get a little smoky, but uh, peony is also great. That's another flower that I've been really, really enjoying lately and loving the way fl peony flower smells. And I can see where the fruitiness is coming from the osmanthus now finally. It is getting a little apricotty and peachy, but truly a gorgeous scent. I'm gonna enjoy this one and it's starting to heat up. We had these like really cold days. It's shifting in weather and it's become really, really warm and hot and humid. I can see this doing numbers those hot days. So there you have it. That's my first impressions of Le Jour Celeb, The Day Begins. Guys, let me know if you've tried this one and if you're fans of it or if you're curious to try it. And of course, good luck with the giveaway. Please make sure to follow the rules and please make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.